Hi there and welcome back. Um, if you're new then hello and welcome. Um, it's always nice to have new people uh, joining us and if you are a returning subscriber then it's always fabulous uh, to see you. Don't forget to say hello in the comments and let me know uh, how you are and what you're working on, what you're up to. Um, so we're here today <laughs> to um, do another page in these. So I have added a few more pages. I've kept this one really long because this is going to be the first uh, page. Um, so obviously I'm going to have to put some trim down there. I do think it did in COVID to be honest, but I've only just uh, put those in and I thought that went uh, beautiful with that. Um, what else have I put in? Put a couple of extra um, ones on what we can do some ephemera on. I've put that other music one in, ready to do something with. That's going to be uh, the middle. And then obviously we've got the backs. And I think it's, it's that one, isn't it, that we need to do something with, is it? Yes, because that goes that way. <laughs> so, yes, it's that one what we need to uh, do something with. So let me keep that open. And I think on this one, it'll be the, the first one because I did them opposite. So that's that. I'll leave those there in case I need it for size. So I've got some bits uh, to do this. Now, this is inspired from the lovely uh, Rita Jensen. I saw, seen it. <laughs> I saw it on her channel. Um, I, I, I don't know if it, it might have been in the Nutcracker um, journal that she did, what was absolutely fabulous. So if I can remember what to do, all I've got is two pieces of uh, copy paper, what I've tea dyed. And I've kept it, you know, the, the size of it. I've not cut it down at all. So I'm just going to fold it in half lengthways. So I'm going to do, would have helped if I'd have folded it properly in half. Ooh. Why is it so difficult? Because <laughs> it's a long piece of paper. Yeah, that'll be fine. Right, so I'm going to have one going that way and one going this way because the pages are opposite, aren't they? I don't know if it'll make a, a difference, but I'll do it just in case. So <laughs> that's that part. <clears throat> and then you fold the top bit down, so that corner right to the edge like so do the same with this one like so and then you fold this bit up now this is what i wanted uh the page for so i can see um length wise so if that fit there we would want it about there so I am gonna have to cut um, some some off but I could go right to the top and right to the bottom so yeah I'm gonna have to cut cut some off so that's that one do I need to cut some off I don't think I do actually um let me think about this. Sorry about Colin, I might have to pause in a tick. It's, it's um, morning and um, everybody's obviously going for a walk. Yep, I'm going to do it against this. <laughs> yeah, that's about right anyway. Okay. don't really want it. weird the other way not funny ha 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 funny right so that's that one so I would have that one in the other one wouldn't I and that one would be in there 
so it's going to be paper clipped in um, I've just grabbed these um, hidden paper clips what I made um, in the Tim Holtz series And there, just going to hold that on. So what you've got is <coughs> a pocket and a pocket. And then obviously you can pull this off and you've got a whole sheet of writing paper. I think that's really clever and really uh, easy. So I'm keeping it as long as that. Let's have a look what the... Um, tag looks like what I've picked out for it because obviously if it's hidden oh no I think that would look okay so I was going to have that in there and then if you remember right at the beginning when I was testing um, the inks out I just did those on the postcard and that would go in there yeah I like that so yes I'm going to keep them uh, the length that they are um so, what to do, what to do. Let's um, move this out of the way. So, what I'm going to do is cover this bit and this bit, just so it looks like a regular pocket. So, obviously, you know, you won't have those two bits to write on, but you'll still have uh, plenty of... of plenty of... Plenty... Mm, plenty more. Is that going to be, let me just check if that's too, too long. I could check it with that one, couldn't I? No, that's fine. Okay, right, come on, let's, let's do this. So I've got some um, of this, which I'm going to cover it in, and I have printed it on a card. It's only 160 GSM. Right, let's get uh, some measurements. So it is, if I do it at four inches, this is going to be the same obviously, isn't it? Four by, say, three and three quarters. So four by three and three quarters. So let's see how wide this is. So three and three quarters, and I'm just going to go under that. I've got enough. Three and three quarters, and then four. And again, I'll just go. Oh, Colin, honestly, right. I think I'm going to trim those down just a little bit at the bottom. So I just cut them down just to touch um, and I've rounded the corners. So I'm thinking to get this bit, if I measure this and then cut it um, in half, in theory, that should fit, shouldn't it? <laughs> in theory. Right, let's just get this border off and let's measure this. So height wise it is four, is it four by four then? Oh, four by four. Four by four, right. So if I go just under four by just under four and then you would think in theory if I cut it straight across the middle that it would be fine I don't know but we'll see <laughs> okay so that would go like so and that one would go like so. So yeah, fabulous. 
don't know if it just wants a little bit off. Mm. Just going to take a little bit off this back um, part. And that would be that way. So, stick that. Okay. <clears throat> Just move my tea so I can put the chopper back and keep those um, bits because they're quite decent size and keep those. So I'll just pop those over there. Let's have a quick drink of tea. Okay, and then that will go on that, and that will go on that. Brilliant. So I'm going to ink those up. I'll have to remember that with the uh, triangle pockets. Obviously, it does make perfect sense, but I've never, I've never thought about it. Just sussed it, just after all this time. <laughs> it was funny, um, some pictures came up on my uh, Facebook feed um, from when I f first uh, tried junk journaling. So it was four years uh, ago. Um, I've reposted the pictures on the, <laughs> in the Facebook group, uh, but yeah, absolutely crazy. I'm sitting at the kitchen table because uh, that's where, you know, I first started uh, crafting. Um, did I say four years ago? Um, I've got a pair of kitchen scissors, some, you know, economy um, glue stick, you know, just from the local... Uh, supermarket um, some napkins I'd find um, a music book and um, you know an old um, text book from the charity shop and um, yeah I'd bought some envelopes um, don't know if I copied out them or not I can't remember um, and yeah I was uh, decoupaging some some envelopes and, and some tags. <laughs> I can remember it now. It was it was such a faff. Uh, I couldn't believe how many steps. You know, they sound like there was a million steps to it. <laughs> um, I had a couple of goes around that time, and then I I packed in uh, for for about a year. Uh, I didn't have uh, a try at it again. Um, yeah, I just thought it was a big old faff. Uh, but I carried on uh, watching because, um, I mean, I'd been watching, oh, I don't know, a good a good while, probably, I don't know, six months or something before I even tried. Um, and I just, I just loved watching. Um, yeah, at the time I got more enjoyment out of watching than than I did when when I had a go. Um, and I think really it was because um, I don't know. I just didn't know what my style was, and obviously your style develops. Um, but when I had a go, I just didn't. I don't know. I just didn't feel feel right um wasn't really until i found um other people who was doing you know more nature um type things that it was like oh my goodness like this is you know this is me but um i'm still very drawn to watching the overly laced um you know, feminine things cause visually, I do, um, I do really like them. But it's it's you know not my actual um, creative style. I love these. I've never seen them before. 
I can't remember where Rita had said that she'd seen them. But um, I know that she did say um, she saw them from someone. I don't know if she changed them slightly or not. Um, but yeah, these these are some some of the projects that, that I'm going to be doing in the next few weeks are um, all inspired by, by other people. I'm going to say the CDs was inspired by um, Joanne at uh, Junk Journal Treasures. And um, this one's from Rita Jensen because, you know, when I wasn't crafting, um, I wasn't... I wasn't feeling, I'd not lost my mojo at all. Um, I still wanted, it was just that I wasn't well enough and because I wasn't doing it, um, I'd just got no ideas. I didn't know what I would want to make or, or anything. So I thought I'm gonna save a few videos of some ideas and hopefully that'll get me, you know, back into, um, you know, coming up with, with my own ideas. So, I was very grateful for some inspiration. Um, I hope I've... No, I haven't. I was going to say I hope I've not used the, the same dobber for the green as I did the brown. Just going to ink around the front section. I'm not going to ink, you know, all the, all the paper. But yeah, it just looks like a... A regular pocket. I think I'm gonna get the this bit. Really quick and quick and easy. I did have to quick look at the video again this morning. I just you know fast forwarded it to the bit where uh, she was actually doing the folding because I really just couldn't remember. Um, you know where where you start. I think it it's that, isn't it? What um, you know, you see some things and and they are easy. Um, but if you if you forget how to fold them, then you've you've shot it. <laughs> yeah, it really tough for those. Right, so I think I want a little bit of uh, decoration. Let's have a look what it's going to look like with the, with the tag in. So that's going to sit there. And that's going to sit. There. Okay, so these, <coughs> just to make them a little bit more um, in theme, I've just got this um, holly, oh dear, holly leaf <coughs> die, um, so I was just going to stick a stick a leaf on, but I thought rather than making uh, some more, obviously I'd, I'd made quite a lot in the, in the Tim Holtz series, so we'll just pop those on there. I'll save that because you never know. You never know where I might need a single holly leaf. So I'm getting those stuck on. So I think I'll have it like so. Oop, can't get hold of it. I did order some art glitter. I don't know if I came back on camera yesterday when I filmed or or not but uh, yeah I did order some some more and say it was it is out of stock but um it was getting some more stock in, in the next couple of days. So and it's a UK um company so it shouldn't take take long. Well yeah and I went for the, the gigantic bottle because it does work out loads. I mean it seems expensive when you buy it you know 28 pound for glue oh my goodness but i bet you two of those would last me the entire year um and if i keep you know filling filling this one up this i've only filled this one up once i think so far um the one before i think I filled it up about six times and <coughs> it did then need 
in me to buy a new uh excuse me <coughs> a new bottle because the plastic had gone i don't know like pappy um not pappy but um i can't think of the word just squadgy it, it just wasn't wasn't right so i'm just going to stick those um stamps on there they're from the kiss i think they're from uh the free the free part if i remember uh correctly and the tags are from the free part as well and these postcards are ones i just picked them up from uh, my local post office they're bright white um just tea stain them and I'll show you the backs in a minute because I put that plastic um, lace in with it and then obviously I've just done the red stenciling over the top and then some um, stamping text stamping I think I did it in the archival black so love it so I've inked around the front and, and the back. So they will go in like so. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, oh what a shame. There's no way I can do it, is there? <laughs> no. Right. So that can go like so. Yeah, that's really nice. And then that will go there. So I want something on there. Let's um, see what we've got. I did sit and uh, cut some more of the um, the full kit um, last night. So something like that would probably be very. I think that's too much, too much red. Well, these are beautiful. I quite like those to the side. And then that could actually be um, a side pocket, couldn't it? That's a little bit bigger. I wonder if I've got another one. That size. I don't think so, because I think that's all there was in banishment wise. I suppose that's not too big, is it? I could cut it down the fraction. Oh, well, that's going to go that way. So that's going to go that way. Yeah. Then maybe that's sticking out. And I've got another one to the, <coughs> to the side. I've cut those frames out as well. I've got the circles cut out where I've got my tiny... Um, scissors. something rectangle oh. there we go say that is that yeah I like that um, let's ink around these I'm just going to um, cut this down just going to follow So these don't want to stick into the page they're just going to be pinned on seems a bit bizarre doesn't it 
I did all my gnaw about sticking uh, the back to the page, which you could, but the only thought was when you folded the paper out, how realistic is it going to be that you could actually um, write on the paper because half of it would be hanging out the book. So I thought, no, actually, it's a good idea to, to be able to take the, the sheet out. Absolutely love that. <laughs> I think it's turned out super. Yeah, beautiful. I think I'm just going to rip um, some of this music paper and perhaps just put some um, in, in the background just to bring the music paper in. And this is just one of the scraps what I was uh, left with. Right, um, let's, let's pop that there a second. Let's bring this in. Let's leave that there. Right, so let's deconstruct it all. Actually, it's going to want something both sides, isn't it? Mm, I wonder what it's going to look like actually on, on the other side. It's going to look a bit, a bit odd. Oh, I don't know. No, it doesn't. Let's, um, Move the other book out of the. Oh, I don't know which book's which. Right, okay. <clears throat> Let's just move that one out of the way a second. Right, so that's that. Push it in enough that that paper clip grabs it. Right, so where could we have some music paper? Just there. have the pocket there isn't it so maybe a little bit down that so stick this down so I like that. Put a touch of ink on it. Okay. 
Okay. And then that's going to pop that. So yeah, I really like that. Fabulous. Thank you very much, Rita. So that's that one. Um, I'll put the other one together um, off camera um, and then I'll come back uh, tomorrow and we'll do another page. Um, <coughs> so, oh yeah, obviously that's got... Oh, honestly. What am I like? So yeah, obviously we've got that flip there. Ah. Oh, I've not got it on. I really need to do it from this side. Not got it through the right bit. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to stick that ticket bit back back down. Okay. Well, I'm glad I did that. <laughs> right, so I don't want anything on this one. I do need to get some tea stained paper in there. This one I still need to cut around properly um, and ink it. So, yeah, I think the next page we'll do um, is this one. Um, in fact, it's not going to be that one. It's going to be this one. Oh yeah, it's going to be this one. Ignore me. Absolutely <laughs> ignore me. So the next one, it, again, it's this one's from uh, Rita. And um, these bags are uh, in my shop. These are the smaller uh, size. And it's going to involve some envelopes um, and a pocket and things. So that's going to be... Uh, the next one, and I thought that goes very nice against the music paper. So I'm not sure if I'll put anything on there, but I'll probably uh, put, you know, a cluster or something. We need to make some clusters, but um, yeah. So that's that. Oh, let's leave that open actually uh, for today. I need to stick that down. So see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now. <laughs>